Hey, Minute Man Preparedness here. So if you saw my video yesterday I did on my TRK, my travel radio kit, you'll recognize these uh, radios. If you didn't, after this, swing by, check out that video. It may give you an idea on how to set up a cost-effective travel radio kit when you have multiple people uh, in your party. So these are Midland LXT 600s. They're FRS, GMRS, pre-programmed radios. They have your standard channel 1 through 22. They also have channel 23 through 36, which is just a mixture of FRS and GMRS frequencies that Midland has pre-programmed DCS and CTCSS tones in. So you're not get, really getting any additional channels there. They've just reintroduced a mixture of those FRS and GMRS frequencies with preset tones in them. Um, something nice about these radios is they do have the NOAA weather uh, channels on them. You can scan through them in the menu code and find the one that uh, works for you the best. They also have a handful of really nice features on top of the NOAA weather uh, channels. So they do have a Roger beat for those that like that. Um, they have a keypad lock, which is really nice because on these radios, I have them preset on a frequency. I lock the, the frequency. So whenever I pass these radios out, no one can accidentally get off of the frequency. Um, so the keypad lock is nice. On the side, they have a mic and your speaker jack if you want to run, you know, an earpiece, um, if you want to have an additional adapter that you plug in so you can run comms on your helmet or anything like that. Um, what's also nice about these radios is you can see they have double gang chargers here so you can charge them. Now, the rechargeable battery in them is a 700 milliamp hour battery which is not really big but these are small radios they don't take a lot of power but if you're out and about with these and you don't have the chargers or you don't have the ability to to use the chargers if you do have them you can pop off the back cover here it just slides off you can remove that 700 milliamp hour battery and replace it with three double a's Double A batteries and triple A batteries are very common. They're used in a lot of things. So you should always have some extra batteries in your home, as I've stated in other videos. I also keep extra batteries in my vehicles just in case uh, I need them. Now, when you do a search for the FCC uh, number assigned to these radios, the FRS puts out 450 milliwatts, which a milliwatt, 450 milliwatts, is actually 0.45 watts. So they're just shy right at the line of half a watt for FRS. Now, GMRS, they're 740 milliwatts, which when you break that down, it's 0.74 of a watt. So not quite one watt on your GMRS uh, frequencies. So you're not gonna push long distances, uh, distances, excuse me, on these radios. Um, and since they are FCC compliant and they have FRS in them, you don't have the ability to change out the antenna. They have a fixed antenna, which is required by the FCC if you're utilizing radio that is on FRS uh, channels. So you're not gonna get a lot of distance with these. And with that, radios, handheld radios and mobile radios, it's all dependent upon your environment. So if you live, you know, in the wide open plains and it's really flat ground and you have, um, you know, long distance, straight line views, you'll do, you'll do pretty good. Um, if you're in a, in a hilly or mountainous area and one person's on the ridge line and the other person is down in the valley, 
and you have a pretty good, you know, line of sight, then you'll do pretty good. But as for long distance communications, you're not going to get that with these. Um, you know, on the FRS and with the GMRS, you, you know, you're going to be pushing, you know, maybe half a mile. You know, you, you're not going to get a whole lot with these in your standard, um, you know, environment dealing with, you know, commercial and residential structures in the way, bridges, trees, hills, anything like that that can disrupt that signal, you know, it, it, it's going to hurt you. So these are close distance radios, you know, small neighborhoods, you know, around the yard. If you're in a vehicle convoy, you know, with some friends or family and, you know, you're a car or two behind each other, you know, you, you'll be good with these. Um, if you're just getting into radios and you want something, you know, to just get you started so you can have some close area communications, this may work out for you. Um, so when you purchase these, you can get them on Amazon through Midland or you can go directly to Midland. The kit, which is your two radios, your double gain charger, um, your wall adapter, and then your instruction manual, which I bought these used at a really great price so they didn't have instruction manuals. So I printed out a couple of these and I keep them in the kit so I can hand them out uh, to friends and family whenever I give them one of these radios if they have any questions and I'm not with them. Um, so you'll get the instruction manual and they're running around $60. Um, it's a little expensive. You know, you can go out and get other radios with more power um, at, you know, a, a smaller price point. But you have to remember these are Midlands. Midland is a, you know, tried and true, tested company. Um, if you have issues, you know, they have websites you can go to. Um, so I, I love Midland products. I have a lot of Midland products. And we'll get further into what I have from them, you know, throughout more videos. But if you're looking for something to just get you started, very basic um, radio setup. Also, these are not repeater capable. Um, you cannot use repeaters with these. Um, just bear that in mind. If you are wanting that capability, this is not the radio for you. Um, you know, but if you're setting up a small kit, just getting into it, this may be a good option for you. So with that, stay safe. Minute Man out.